Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. So I came across one of the coolest mushrooms out here. One of the most recognizable mushrooms in the world. All right, y'all, so I came across a really cool mushroom, one that is probably the most famous looking mushroom in the world that everybody thinks of when they think of a mushroom. And this one has been characterized by emojis on Facebook and, and social media. As you would know it from Super Mario Brothers. And so right down here, we've got this beautiful patch of Amanita muscaria. Yeah, the fly agaric. This is a really beautiful mushroom. Look how big and beautiful these guys are. If you look, they're actually forming a fairy ring. So how perfect is that? But uh, we'll take a closer look at these mushrooms and talk about them a little bit. All right, so here's your Amanita muscaria. These classic looking mushrooms. They're red, they got these white spots on them. Um, they're pretty large. You can see the things as big as my hand. Um, some people confuse these for magic mushrooms, but they really aren't. So let's take a look at the anatomy of one of these mushrooms, and I'm going to dig down here a little bit, get underneath it, so we can really have a good look. And this is the way that you ID a mushroom, right? You got to get all the way underneath it, and there we can pull it out. And so there we have Amanita muscaria. So let's start at the top, it's red. This one's actually turning orange as it gets more mature. They were very red when they were young and it's got these white spots all over it. And then as we look under the cap, it's got these big white gills. And uh, this surface right here, these are called gills. They're like little pieces of paper. They have a really sharp edge on them. So right here is where the gills attach to what is called the stipe. You'd probably call it a stem. That's what it's called in plant terminology, but in mushroom terminology this is called the stipe and then right here this is known as the analyst or the ring and what happens is when this mushroom starts out as a small ball it opens up and the edge of the cap right here tears away from the stem or the stipe and it leaves behind this veil and then as you continue down the stipe you see that it's coming out of this some kind of a bulbous base with all this sheathy material on it and so this mushroom starts growing in this little egg and as it bursts out of it the remnants of this part is actually what ends up on the top of the cap so these little white spots are actually just the same flesh as right here but these are considered to be toxic they can be processed in a way which makes them edible and there's also an, another process that can make them into a deliriant or a disassociative type of I'm not even gonna use the word hallucinogenic because these aren't even illegal because the way they make you feel is so unpleasant and you will have a very weird experience. So these are not a classic magic mushroom. Uh, although a lot of people have a misconception that these are magic mushrooms, they're not in the traditional sense. Uh, those would be in the Psilocybe genus. And uh, I am not interested in trying to boil these twice to eat them or anything like that that is one way that people make these uh, into an edible so i'm just going to replant that back and although it's not going to continue growing after i did that it will continue to drop spores for a while so i'm just going to leave that there but how beautiful are those that's amanita muscaria variety flavi vulvata that is the pacific northwest variety so a beautiful mushroom an urban mushroom and one you might see growing around parks or schools near your house. This mushroom grows all around the world, different varieties of it. So anyways, Amanita muscaria, look at the size of that bad boy. Yeah, we got some pretty mushrooms here, so. So yeah, pretty cool to find the Amanita muscaria. My dog thinks so. And uh, we're gonna continue to walk. So um, keep your eye out for these, really pretty one. Another thing about these mushrooms, I just found a couple more big ones. But something else to consider about these is just because insects have been eating them does not mean that they're safe for humans to eat. So that's another old country wives tale that is not true. Just because something else has been munching on this does not mean that it's safe to eat. So keep that in mind. Let's have a look at these. These are a couple more that across. Beautiful, but these ones have been getting chewed on by slugs. But you can really see this vulva that it's came out of this ringed vulva it's got all these different levels of rings here and this stuff if i was to peel a piece of that off is the exact same stuff 
as that is right there on the cap. So, thinking that these white spots are some kind of poison or something like that, uh, it's not any different than what's down there. It's just mushroom flesh, so there you go.